This is why the NBA world loves Nikola Jokic. In recent years, Jokic has arguably become one of the best players in the NBA and a fan favorite for sure. The 25-year-old Denver Nuggets center used to be a little-known second-round pick from Serbia, who teleported into the scene back in 2014, immediately catching looks because of his unique game. And that once, and to be honest, still goofy 7-foot star is now dominating the playoffs for the third year in a row. His game is so unique that it is almost impossible to describe it in a normal way but it's something similar to seeing a point guard and a center having a baby, plus adding a funny personality to it. That's what helped him establish himself as a must-watch superstar. But it wasn't always like that, especially when considering his humble beginnings growing up in Serbia. He indeed did grow up playing basketball, but played several other sports too, including soccer, which seems to be in just about every NBA star's history, water polo, and even harness racing. But there is a secret about Jokic that very little of his fans actually know. According to a former coach, growing up, Jokic was considered obese. Despite being an active kid, he was just as active when it came to unpacking sweets and drinking coke, even up to 3 liters per day. It was glass after glass, he just couldn't stop it. When he was 17, he was 7 feet and weighed 300 pounds. He couldn't even do a push-up, man. Yet he was still playing professionally in Serbia. And that is where the scouts found him. And no, I'm not talking about those who sell you cookies at the front door, I'm talking about the Denver Nuggets scouts. Despite concerns about his body, they liked his talent and took him with the respected 41st overall pick in the 2014 NBA draft. And then, on a plane flight to there, a tragedy happened. Unfortunately for him, on that very flight, he drank his last coke. The Denver staff told him that he's gonna have to change his lifestyle drastically. He gave up soda entirely, and that was the last one he ever drank. And the moment he got there, he realized he's got work to do. The word in the street is that he had to go through a plank test and couldn't hold it for longer than 20 seconds. I didn't know there was such thing as NBA entry tests, but if the military has it, why not? Now, Jokic's rookie season began slowly, but eventually he got the opportunity to play more, showing glimpses of his unique talent. He averaged 10 points, 6 rebounds and 2 assists in his rookie year, eventually even making it to the all-rookie first team. From then on, he made enormous leaps each successive season. I'm talking about the types of leaps even the fate wouldn't dare to take. He made his first All-Star team in the 2018-2019 season, averaging 20 points per game. Oh, and he also became one of the NBA's most elite triple-double threats, with his 63 combined triple-doubles over the past few seasons. What stands out most about Jokic, and is probably a big part of his likable arsenal, is his passing. He's by far one of the best passers in the NBA. That's why he used to dub himself as a fat point guard. Those are his words, not mine. His wide range of different types of passes probably allows me to exclusively pack them into a collection. So here we go. <clears throat> there are the beautiful no-look passes. Then there are the one-arm Captain America passes that somehow bend around defenders. And then there are the instant turnaround one-arm full-court touchdown passes. Someone make an NFT out of that. And because of those, he's being compared to Tom Brady. His teammates say he's like a quarterback out there, always picking them apart and making the right reads. For the stage of his career, it's unbelievable, to say the least. But what's funny about Jokic is that people think that his unique sense for passing comes from playing water polo. He's claimed that when he sees something, even if it's risky, he's going to try it. And that's because that mistake could open up something else. Kind of a special mentality, but I am so here for it. Jokic is just like a brilliant painter. He's a true 
peak performance artist, Pablo Picasso, Leonardo da Vinci, Niko Lajokic. That blends in perfectly. When you ask famous painters, how'd you do that? They usually say, I just did it. With Jokic, it's pretty much the same. He's got a hard time explaining. He just does it and it happens. Have you ever looked at how he moves around the court? This man is literally playing as if he was wearing flip-flops. It sounds strange, but it perfectly describes the act. One of his most remarkable games was back in 2019, when he impressed observers with his 65-minute long play in a quadruple overtime loss to Blazers. He totaled 33 points, 18 rebounds and 14 assists. Now that was a work of art if I ever seen one. Even though not everything seems so bright for Jokic, just about everything about him is funny or hilarious, or both. For example, his conditioning has always been questioned, but he's always laughed off the critics. He claims it's funny because sometimes what they say is actually true, and yet he's still playing in the NBA. Now for the cherry on top. The main reason why people adore him so much is his personality. He's nicknamed Joker because of his last name and his wry sense of humor. Plus, his smile also kind of reminds me of the Joker and also the way he doesn't give a single flying damn about pretty much anything. But if we put the NBA aside for a second, he's also been in a fight. Back in 2019, Jokic's struggles with the microphones at post-game press conferences became a fun battle. It's been going on for quite a long time and he always said that hopefully, at the end of the season, he's going to beat the mic. And besides the mic, he also loves beating meat. W wait, I meant meat meat. He's said to always keep a stash of Serbian meats in his home, just for the times he misses home cooking the most. There's nothing better than a fine steak from the hometown. What's more, Jokic also owns six horses back in Serbia and still, to this day, loves horse racing. He said that he enjoys animals, their nature and everything about them. He especially adores horses and he claims that every horse has a different personality, just like a human. People are calling him a big horse guy. His teammates said that he reads books about horses in his off time. That's kind of wholesome if you ask me. Some of his teammates have even been to Serbia and have seen the stable with Jokic's horses. They all said that he takes great care of them, you can just see the strong relationship between them. I mean, how can you not like this guy? Jokic is still young and we can do no other but cherish the things he's already done and the things that he's still yet to. In all ways, he's a great guy, with a great sense of humor likable personality and a water polo type of game. But after all, he is still that goofy kid from his old passport photo.